Hello friends, hi, how are you today? My name is Laura and welcome to Discovery Time. Oh, I'm sorry, the sun is in my eyes this morning. It's so bright. Has that ever happened to you? Do you ever notice that sometimes the sun is really bright through one window in the morning and then it stops and then later in the afternoon, it's shining through a different window? Hmm. Or have you ever noticed that you could be playing in a shady spot and then that same spot gets really sunny? <gasps> Why does that happen? Well, it's because the sun changes its position in the sky throughout the day, which means that in the morning, when you look up in the sky, the sun starts in one spot in the east, and at night, when the sun starts to go down, it's in the opposite spot in the west. Watch as the shadows move while the sun changes position in the sky. So to better understand how this all works, we're gonna play with shadows today. So what is a shadow? A shadow is when an object blocks light and creates a dark silhouette. So for instance, I have a flashlight here and my stegosaurus, and as I shine my light on the stegosaurus, I get a shadow. And you can play around. What happens when you move the light? So imagine you start on one end, and move the light around your object, how does the shadow change? This is something that you can explore by making your own shadow area at home. Turn on your flashlight and move it all around your objects. Can you make the shadows different sizes, different shapes? Can you make your shadows bigger or smaller? How can you make your shadows taller? What other things do you notice? We can also play with shadows outside using the sun instead of a flashlight. In the morning, Find a sunny, open area and place a tall object like a water bottle on the ground. Look up in the sky. Where's the sun? Where's the shadow? Trace the shadow with a piece of chalk. Come back a few hours later and look up at the sky again. Has the sun moved? Has the shadow moved? Has it changed its shape? Repeat this process throughout the day. How does the shadow change? Does it get bigger? Does it get smaller? Does it change positions? What do you notice about where the shadow is and where the sun is in the sky? You can do the same thing using your body to make shadows. In the morning, find a sunny open area. Trace your feet on the ground so you know where to stand throughout the day. Then have someone trace your shadow. Make sure you're standing nice and tall with your arms out. Come back a few hours later. Stand in the same position. Make sure you put your arms out, stand up tall. Has your shadow changed? What's different? Come back again and do the same thing. Has your shadow gotten bigger or smaller? Can you see your arms? Finally come towards the end of the day. Where is your shadow now? What does it look like? Take a step back and look at your shadows. How have they changed throughout the day? Another fun way to play with shadows is to build a nature sculpture. Build something tall with rocks, leaves, flowers, sticks, whatever you want, and watch how the shadows change throughout the day. <laughs> All 
All right, my friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun with shadows. I know that I did. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our Virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Tuesday and Thursday on Facebook and YouTube. Visit us online and in person. The inside of the museum and Bill's Backyard are open every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.